In the video today, I'm going over the most helpful tips and tricks on the Pixel 8. Let's get into it. Number one, turn off the gesture mode and get your traditional home buttons back on the bottom of the screen by simply swiping down from the top of the screen, swiping down again, in the bottom right corner, tap on the settings wheel. From here, go to display. And then from display, you're gonna swipe up and tap on navigation mode and simply switch to three button navigation. And this will get you the traditional Android home buttons, home, back, and recent apps. Number two, keep your screen on longer without having to touch the screen by swiping down again from the top, swiping down again, bottom right corner, tapping on the settings wheel. From here, go back to display, tap on screen timeout, increase it to either two minutes or five minutes, and as a bonus, also turn on screen attention. This will prevent your screen from turning off if you're looking at the screen. The camera monitors your eyes, and if it sees you're reading something or you're staring at the screen, it will not turn the screen off until you look away. Number three. Run two apps at one time. In this example, I'm gonna run YouTube and I'm also gonna run Google Chrome at the bottom of the screen. First, I wanna simply go to the YouTube app, open it up, Any reason you're hit the home button. Now, I wanna to go to Google Chrome, open it up, and then let's hit the home button again. Now I'm gonna hit the recent apps button in the bottom right corner. I'm gonna swipe over to YouTube, tap on the YouTube icon at the very top, tap on split screen, and from here, I'm gonna then swipe over to Chrome. Any reason? And now, I will have YouTube at the top and my Google Chrome at the bottom. For example, I can go to Amazon at the bottom here, and I can have a video playing at the top. Now let me turn the volume down so it won't be loud when I play the video but let's go to one of my videos and let's play it. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to my second channel, Tech Made Easy, make sure you subscribe to that awesome channel as well. So I've got a video playing at the top of the screen here, and now I can also be scrolling through Amazon looking for the best deals of the day. You can also rotate your screen, the landscape position, and it will rotate with you. Now in the upper right corner, there's a little icon that's popping up. You do have to tap on that in order for it to force the rotation. But now I have, again, my video still playing on the left, and I can continue to shop through Amazon on the right here. And when I'm all done, there's a little white bar in the center of the screen. I'm gonna put my finger on the bar and just drag to the right, and that will take me out of the split screen. And I'm gonna hit the home button, to go back to the home screen. Now you'll notice my video is still playing in this little pop-up screen because with YouTube, if you have a video playing and you hit the home button, the video will continue to play in what is called a pop-out video screen, just like this. So video is playing, hit the home button. It'll continue to play and I can move it to any one of the corners of the screen and I can let it play while I go through and do other things on the phone. So this is a bonus, another way to multitask by having a YouTube video play on the screen while you do other things. When you're all done, simply tap on the little YouTube icon. I can pause, I can tap the center square to make it bigger or tap the X to close it out altogether. Now, so far, I've gone over three tips and tricks. If you found any of these helpful, make sure you bump that like button down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Number four, easily customize your pixel by holding down on the home screen and tapping on wallpaper and style. Here it will let you change the theme of the phone as well as the wallpaper, size of your icons, and do a bunch of other really cool things. So right now, if I want to change my wallpaper, I can choose from some of the pictures that are already downloaded on my phone or pictures I've taken, or I can tap on more wallpapers right here, and I can go through a full library of uh, stock wallpapers that are come preloaded on the phone. Now I can also change the theme of all my menus by simply tapping on these different color palettes, and this will change uh, all your menus, and if you'll notice here, the color of these icons keep changing with my different selections. So this is an easy way to just um, customize the phone to different colors that you like better. If I tap on the three dots here, it'll allow me to get even more expensive 
and um, do different things with the uh, themes. Now you can also tap on other colors and go through just uh, tons of different options here. You can also put your phone on the dark theme by tapping dark theme here and it will switch all your menus from light to dark. So that's one option as well. And you can then swipe up. You can um, go to themed icons as well and it will change how each icon looks on your home screen. So if you notice, let me just uh, go to the home screen now. My call, text messages, settings, they're all different because they're all aligned to the theme of the phone. So if you have a predominantly green theme, it will change all the icons to match that theme. Now, if you wanna change that back, hold back on the home screen, tap on wallpaper. From here, we're going to turn off themed icons and at the bottom here, you have an option called App Grid. This controls how many apps are gonna show on your main screen. I have it on the max right now, which is five across and five up and down, but you can go lower if you'd like for the icons to be larger. So you wanna to go to more of a two by two. And as you can see, as you keep going down the road, the apps get a little bit smaller. It just depends on what theme you're going for on your phone. Number five. Launch your camera and never miss an important moment simply by tapping on the power button two times just like this. No matter what you're doing, as long as you tap the power button two times, it'll automatically launch your camera so you can snap any important pictures that are on the horizon. Now guess what? If the phone is off, this will also work. So my screen is off right now. Double tap. It will wake up the phone and take me right to the camera. Even if you have a passcode on the phone, it will bypass that and allow you to take pictures. Now, you can't review the pictures unless you put in your code, but uh, either way, you'll never miss any important moments as long as you're double tapping that power button to jump right to the camera. Number six, in the event of an emergency, tap your power button five times to launch the SOS emergency mode, just like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now you gotta do it really fast. Now I was tapping the button, but not fast enough, so I'm gonna do it one more time, but I'm gonna tap the buttons really, really fast, just like this. So this is the SOS mode. Um, now I now need to take my finger and hold in the center for three seconds, and it's gonna automatically call 911. Now, there's a lot more that goes into this setting, but the first thing I wanted to do is show you how to trigger the setting. Now, the second thing you'll wanna do, now that you know how to trigger it, is you'll wanna to go to the settings. So let's swipe down, swipe down again, tap on the settings wheel, and we're gonna to go to the emerge, excuse me, safety and emergency setting. And here, you'll wanna go through each section um, and just read through and make sure you set up each option that is available. So if you have any special uh, allergies or medical conditions, you'll want to log that in the app because in the event that you were to pass out and a medical uh, person found you uh, on your phone, if you've launched the emergency mode, they'll be able to see any special conditions you have to try to care for you properly. You can also um, input emergency contacts. So when you launch that mode, it will send them an alert that tells them that you are in trouble and you're in need of help. Now, this is a new feature that's been added called car crash detection. And this will also send a notification to your emergency contacts if your phone detects that you've been in a car accident. You also have the crisis alerts and a few other options as well. So you'll want to go through here and set up each of these options so that when you do hit that power button five times, it triggers this alert to all your emergency contacts and your phone will display any important medical information to make sure you are cared for properly. As a reminder, if you're finding value in the video, make sure you bump that like button down below and do me a favor, leave me a comment when you finish the video and let me know what tip was the most helpful Love hearing your feedback. And also, if you're in the market for a really cool, inexpensive Bluetooth speaker, this is an awesome option by a company called Tribit. Um, really minimalist design. It has a battery indicator at the bottom here. Easy to turn on, easy to pair with a really good sound. And I'll have a link for this in my shopping cart right here. So if you wanna check out the price and look into getting one, um, would definitely encourage it because I'm loving this little guy. Number six. 
There's a really cool new feature that will allow you to program um, a command whenever you tap the back of your phone two times. Now right now I have this gesture programmed that when I tap the back of the phone two times, it'll automatically launch my flashlight. Think about when you walk into the house and it's dark, guess what, your phone is usually in your hand, double tap, your flashlight is on. So here's how to turn on this feature. Obviously we're gonna go to the settings. As you've heard me say a few times in the video already, swipe down twice, bottom right corner, tap on the settings wheel. From here, we're gonna go up to system. From here, go to gestures. And then go to quick tap to start actions. First, you'll need to turn this on. And next, you can assign one of these uh, specific commands. Screenshot, access your Google Assistant, pause music, recent apps, show notifications, toggle flashlight, or, and this is even cooler, you can also program it to launch any app in your phone. So, maybe you're a big fan of TikTok and you wanna be able to launch that really quickly, guess what? I'm gonna tap here, tap on settings, and guess what? I'm gonna go and find my TikTok app and I'm gonna make sure that TikTok is enabled. So now, when I double tap on my phone, it's gonna automatically take me right into TikTok, just like that. Number eight, there are a ton of shortcuts that are built into your notification panel and most people never know they're there. So I'm gonna make sure that you know they're there. Swipe down from the top of your screen, swipe down again, and here you'll find different shortcuts to various settings on the phone. Now, if you swipe to the left, there's a whole nother list here. So guess what? If you need to scan a QR code, there is a shortcut for it right there. You want to mirror your phone to your TV, simply tap on the screencast button right here. And uh, nearby share can be used to simply share pictures and videos with any other people that are in the area that have an Android phone. Your battery saver mode, which is super important. If you want to stretch your battery and get a longer battery life, guess what? Make sure you turn on your battery saver mode. Now also, if I swipe over, I have a few more options here. So I can toggle that theme on and off as well, the dark theme and light theme. I can also do a battery share screen. Uh, this is a, a voice recorder that you can turn on to record your voice. There is a live translate feature where you can communicate with someone from a different language by simply turning this on and talking into your phone. It will translate your voice into whatever language the other person speaks and it also will listen to their voice and it'll put the text on the screen so that you can understand them as well. So really great feature and a calculator and change the font size. So these are just a few shortcuts to really helpful features. And now that you know they're there, I bet you'll be using them a lot more. Number nine. Now in number eight, I showed you the different settings shortcuts that exist at the top of the screen here, but there are even more you can enable by simply tapping on this little pencil in the uh, right corner here. So if you swipe up the list, you're gonna have a few more that are not currently showing that are important that you should have enabled. So one of them is gonna be your wallet. So I'm just gonna hold down the wallet and drag up. Next, I'm gonna hold down location. I'm gonna drag that up too. Next, the focus mode, you wanna hold and just drag it up. And the nightlight, hold and bring up. And now when I hit the back button here, you're gonna see I have all these extra options that are gonna show up. Now maybe you wanna move one of these to one of the closer pages so you don't always have to swipe four pages over to get to it. Simply tap on that pencil again and find the one you'd like to move closer. So for example, the focus mode, I'm gonna hold and I'm just gonna drag it up. And you know, the, every page has six. So if I want it to be on the first page, it has to be in the first six. If I want it on the second page, it has to be in the first 12. So you'll want to align it that way and then hit your back button. And now you'll notice that my focus mode is going to be on the second page. Or excuse me, I was wrong. It's not every six, it's every eight. So either way, um, if you want it on the first page, it has to be in the first eight. If you want it to be, to be in the second page, it has to be in the top 16. So here it is, it's on the second page here. So main page, second page, and I can easily turn on focus mode just by tapping. 
Now also, if I hold down on the button, it'll take me right to the focus mode setting. And here I can actually set up the feature because I haven't set it up yet. So you wanna go in and you wanna decide what apps you're able to use when the phone is in the focus mode. Number 10, one-handed mode. Now this phone is a bit long, so one-handed mode is super useful. It's going to allow you to use the phone easier because it'll make the phone easier to reach all sections. You'll need to go to the settings, swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, tap on the settings wheel, and you'll wanna go up to system, gestures, and then one-handed mode, swipe up. You're going to enable the one-handed mode shortcut. It's gonna put this little notch on the side of your screen, which you can also move. You can drag this to a higher spot or lower spot. And the way it works is when you tap on that, it's gonna shrink your screen down. So let me hold the phone like normal. I'm holding it this way. I'm gonna tap on that little blue handle and it'll shrink the phone down so it's easier for me to reach the top of the screen. And this will work in every app of the phone. And when you wanna get out of one-handed mode, simply tap on this top section and it'll bring the phone back to normal. So this little handle, you can drag it and put it in different spots. You can also put it on the left side of the screen if that's easier for you. And again, just simply tap and tap. And now it's easy to reach just about anything on your phone. All right. So this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I tried to focus on what I felt were the most important tips and tricks you need to know. So if the video was helpful, once again, show a little love and hit that like button down below. This will help to share the video out to more people and hopefully help more people in getting acclimated and using their Pixel 8. Um, make sure you check out that speaker in the shopping cart right here. It's a really cool speaker, great price, very minimalist design, and uh, it sounds great. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to comment your favorite most helpful tip shared in the video. It's helpful for us to know what tips are helping you guys the most and it'll help impact future videos. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.